What makes these lithium ion batteries so ferocious? How do they work? What do they look like when you take them apart? And more importantly, what happens when you throw the insides into water? These are all tests that really need to be conducted. And I think that we're the right group of people to conduct it. So first of all, let me explain how lithium ion batteries work. And they all operate under basically the same pretense. So you have a positive cathode on this side, and then you have a negative anode on this side. And then this is normally an aluminum sheet. And this sheet is coated with some lithium compound. And in this example, actually both of these batteries, these are ICR batteries. So these are lithium cobalt. So this is a lithium cobalt compound that coats this aluminum cathode, right? And then the anode is copper, right? And it's the exact same. It's a copper sheet and it's going to be coated with graphite. Now, in the middle, there is normally some kind of plastic, like a poly, some kind of plastic sheet that separates the two. And then in the middle, you have this electrolytic compound. Um, and it's got lots of little positive lithium ions floating around in it, ready to do work. So when you connect this bad boy to a circuit, the lithium ions stream across and then they react with the copper anode. And then what squirts out is lithium cobalt electrons. So that's how it works basically. And then when you, no, when you charge it, it interacts this way. And when you discharge it into a tool, so this is charging in this direction, positive to negative, and then negative to positive is when you discharge it to the tool. That's when it squirts out these uh, lithium cobalt ions. So that's the basic operation. When we take this uh, thing apart, what we're gonna find inside is a sheet of this copper and lithium and then coated and then we're going to see exactly what it looks like. Oh, well I got angry right off the bat, didn't it? And these things are particularly ferocious and I'm actually quite scared of them. Uh, we need to make sure that this one's full of angry pixies. Yes, so fully charged, these are about 4.2 volts. So this one's about as close to charged as we're gonna get it. So we're gonna peel back this protective layer and this is just a thin plastic sheet. This is probably not easier or safer, but I am particularly impatient. Fumes, <clears throat> those fumes stink real bad. 
terrible fumes. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this outside. Now we've moved our experiment outside. Wow, those fumes took my breath away. That was interesting. Well, fiddle sticks. Blew my little thing apart. I wonder if that's a sign. In the name of science, we persevere. It's still nice and warm. There we go. So there's the copper. So that's basically it. It's just these sheets. So the black stuff is the lithium. Dang it, yeah, it definitely, it gets you. Ouch, god dang it. Mm. It's zapping me. So now for the real experiment. We need to throw it in the water. And I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen, but I'm fairly certain it's gonna be interesting. Well, that's not interesting. I wanna see fire. I was under the impression that when you threw lithium in water that it just exploded into flames and all kind of terrible things happened, but this was kind of boring actually, really a waste of time. We learned something though. Lithium batteries are not nearly as ferocious as or at least one lithium ion cell is not nearly as ferocious as what they make it out to be. I guess that concludes our test. I'm surely I'll think of something else dangerous for us to do. Till next time. Another very important test is what happens when we chop a lithium ion battery in half. I have no idea, but we're going to find out.